I'm Bianca Peters. It is Wednesday, May 23rd. Let's get a check on that travel forecast from meteorologist Lisa Gonzalez. Thanks, Bianca. And as we head into tomorrow, we will see temperatures in the mid to upper 80s and the chance for scattered showers across Florida and the Gulf Coast states. Temperatures will be in the upper 80s for Birmingham. And we are seeing low 80s for D.C. and Philly, New York City, 79 degrees, 64 in Boston. The highs will be warm, in fact, downright hot in Minneapolis, Omaha, low 90s there, Chicago. 84, 89 in Kansas City, and on the West Coast, 65 in Los Angeles, the upper 70s in Portland. Thank you, Lisa. Well, opening in theaters this week is Solo, a Star Wars story, a standalone installment of the mega movie series that explores the adventures of a young man, Solo. And CBS 4's Lisa Petrillo talked with actress Sandy Newton recently about what it was like jumping into the Star Wars phenomenon. You're after something. Is it revenge? Solo, a Star Wars story, is the story of iconic galactic scoundrel Han Solo and how he became who he is. Actress Tandy Newton plays Val, a tough, no-nonsense gangster who's the partner and love of Beckett, a charming career criminal played by Woody Harrelson. Both have a strong part in shaping the man Han Solo eventually becomes. When that call came in, you got this baby, it's Solo, it's Star Wars, what went through your heart and mind? My kids are going to love this, was my <laughs> first thought. She was, she was the woman that I want to see on screen in this day and age. We love that then. You know, because it could have been a damsel in distress, and I, to be honest, I probably wouldn't have been saying anything. Uh-huh. Um, so I was thrilled that the Star Wars legacy was continuing with this um, theme of powerful women. You gotta catch me! Kenny knows a lot about playing powerful women. She has a host of strong roles under her belt. She's currently starring on the small screen in the hugely popular sci-fi thriller Westworld. How many times have you died? As Maeve Millay, a host or android who is a madam in a brothel. For this film, it's all about the stunts. Here they, come. they would show me what they wanted me to do, and I, every single time I'd say, well, obviously I'm not going to be able to do that. <laughs> but within half an hour... I was doing it, and because I could do it, they had me do it. But then when I saw it all pieced together, I was thrilled. There was a director shakeup happening behind the scenes, and Academy Award winning director Ron Howard was brought in to revamp the movie. You know, one of my all-time favorite directors is Ron Howard. I know. He's so let's talk about working with him. Guy. And when the time came for the transition to, to happen, you know, obviously that was kind of, I felt a certain trepidation, and Ron is the loveliest. He's such a team player. He's got, his, his professionalism is next to none. Push it! It's an all-star cast with a lesser-known actor, Alden Ehrenreich, playing Solo, who steps into the role with a perfect amount out of swagger. What do you think? Uh, well, what do you know? For Tandy, it's a project she's thrilled to be a part of. It was fun, it was hard work, but of the best kind because it was such a great team effort. Well, congratulations to you and thank you so much. We know that Solo, a Star Wars story, is out in theaters this week. I'm Lisa Petrillo, CBS 4 News. Thank you for watching and Bianca Peters. A reminder, we're always on CBSFamily.com. Have a great day.